ברשות מוריי ורבותיי, ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה מדברו. אוקיי, so says Alakha right now, I told this Alakha so many people, everybody are, would square eyes at me. But that's what it's written here. By Alakha, you're not allowed to feed your dog food that is not kosher for Pesach. That's why your dog's food, Sergei, have to be kosher for Pesach. Your bird food, your, all the animals that you are feeding, I don't know, all of it has to be kosher for Pesach. A person goes to the zoo during Chol HaMoed. They give him food to feed the giraffe. They give him food to feed the animals. If this food is not kosher for Pesach, you made Avera from the Torah benefiting from the Hamed. This is understood or no? That's a serious problem. You have to tell all the relatives because many of them keep Hamed away, but they, the birds, their chickens, cats. their cats, their dogs, Bahazu, regular food that the animals food. It's not good. But somebody told me, Rabbi, I didn't find OU on the dog's food. Show me the OUP. I didn't find. What should I do? Ah, bechol shkunam. Maybe fish too? No. Huh? Fish. Fish doesn't have to be kasher lepesach the food. Why? Because it's a mixture that it's so bad that became bad before pesach. There's no problem. It's not edible by a dog. By a dog, yeah. Can we try it? Can we try it? Supplements too, then. Somebody supplements? takes supplements. Yeah, of course. Not edible. Yes, it's good pizza. Now, sip it in form. If you want to get a form, good. I need to push it. You push it. You push it. You push it. You're right. Yeah, you're, you're good. No, yeah, but you, it's not yours. It belongs to the guy. But that's. Yeah, it's not yours. But then you cannot do anything about it. It's not yours. Yes, before Pesach, for one week, I give food, sell it to Goy, that's it. So, yeah. Emet. Titen Emet lebechor. Chesed lavram. Okay? Hamed gamur. Page taf kuf nun vav. Yes, lacha? Taf kuf nun vav. I don't know if I'm going to put it in my page. What's that? Hamed gamur. She nipsal machilat adam. וראוי לכלבים, חייב לבערו כחמץ גמור. יוסף יום ויוג'ון דלש. ג'ורד כתיב יום. חייב לבערו כחמץ גמור. והטעם שאפשר להעמיד בו יסוד אחרות. So if you have 100% חמץ. סיבוני לוי נפרשו. אין כאן לוי, יעמוד כהן במקום לוי. <laughs> if he says there is Hamed Gamu, that it doesn't fit for a person. Uh, but it fits for a dog. You have to destroy it like a hundred percent Hamed. Why? Because it fits for the dogs to eat. Even though it doesn't fit for you. It doesn't fit for you. I cannot eat it. It's not food. The dog would eat it. Yeah, it's hamet. And if hamet is not allowed to be eaten by other animals, it is not allowed to be eaten by other animals. And if hamet is not allowed to be eaten by other animals, it is not allowed to be eaten by other animals. And if hamet is not allowed to be eaten by other animals, it is not allowed to be eaten by other animals. טוב, זה עכשיו יהיה פלפולים. חמץ גמור, ללא תערובת, אסור להאכילו לבעלי חיים וחייב לבערו. חמץ על איזה 100% bread, cookies, stuff like that, even though it's not edible for a person, it became so spoiled, stale, old. סבקה את הפקוש או לא בואי? דאר, this is חמץ חביבי. אבל איפה דאר גונדי? Not American dog that it doesn't eat uh, יחני. We're talking about a dog that is real dog. Here is all fake dogs. 
the real no dogs dog eat. What if no dog would eat it's on Shabbat? Garb, you know the Shulchan Aruch writes that the child's poo on Shabbat it's not mukti. Why? Because the dog will eat it. You hear what what the real dog was? The child's poo it's not mukti. Why? It says because it's food. For who? For the dog. Right, but it's different from other animals. Like raccoons and other stuff, they eat it. They'll eat it. It's because it's, it's steak for them. Oh. Why do we use dog as like the benchmark? The dogs? Yeah. That's because the dog eats something very, very spoiled. That's what I'm saying. The real dog, not Amer- American dog, it's spoiled. It's not the real dog. He will not eat steak, he will not eat certain things like, wow, no, he doesn't eat this, they will not smell dog. In Bukhara, dogs used to be, All the leftovers, the leftovers uh, whatever you spoil, you start throwing the garbage, you throw it to the dog. That used to be life. Over here, no. You gotta take him to the veterinar, you gotta take him to the dentist, you gotta take him to the hair salon, you gotta they take him to all the state places. Anna. ברוכים אתם כהל אמונאי וברוך הבא בשם אדוני המצה הנולדת יהיה בסימן טוב American dogs do not eat it. It says in Israel, the, if, if there is a dead chicken or whatever it is, and the, in the in the in the in the valley farms, the guarding dogs, they throw the dead chicken to the dog. They'll eat it. Here they will not eat it. Здесь. Окей, он родился у вас, может быть, из-за этого. Да, здесь родился у меня. Окей, back to us. Хамец гаму, лело тааровед. A hundred percent хамец. Without тааровед, without mixture. Асу леха ахило леба алеха и... You're not allowed to feed that хамец. Even though it's, it's not edible for a person, it's still a problem. וחייב לבערו, אפילו שנפסל מאכילת אדם. ואם מעורב בהיתר, נמשיך הלאה. אוקיי, חמץ גמור. Now, chapter number two. Now we spoke chapter number one. Now chapter number, number two. חמץ גמור, שנפסל מאכילת אדם, וראוי לאכילה לבעלי חיים, אם עשה בו מעשה גדול, מותר לקיימו. What if a person has right now, you have a picture of wheat. Israelis have a very common decoration at the house. Instead of putting flowers in the vase, they put wheat. wheat. Mm. In the ways. Very common in Israel. Here also. So. Here is also. Can you keep that wheat during Pesach, Emmanuel? <coughs> Absolutely not. No. This wheat is hametz or no? No. no. You never know what's Branches, no? Just branches. Yeah, no, it's not hametz. It, 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 it has kernels of wheat inside. It didn't get wet. I didn't know it didn't get wet. It's still connected to the ground. It didn't rise. I don't know. I think it's in the water, no? Where did I put that? It's still no, no. It's dry. 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 Is it edible? They put a nice roll. Maybe it fell. Whenever your child spilled water, that thing fell on top of the water. How do you know? Throughout the year. But it's not rise. to the ground. Huh? It didn't rise yet. That's the question. Did it? So it says, Halakha. You're allowed to keep chametz. Sometimes the books... May, they put clay over here, mm-hmm. glue. This glue made out of gluten. Glue what? Ah, gluten. But a dog wouldn't eat it. Then glue. Yeah, but it's not gluten. Out of, can't eat it. A dog wouldn't eat it. Huh? A dog wouldn't eat it. Oh, so can I keep that? In my book, I have a glue that made out of gluten. Can I keep this book in Shapesa or no? Yes. Says Allah Khan. If you did ma'aseh gadol, mutar lekaimo. If you did something ma'aseh, a certain action to, to shows that you're not going to eat it, you're allowed to use it. Says the ma'aseh ma, ma gadol. <coughs> oh, she hadol yeshiva v'tachotu batit, mutar lekaimo. So you designate it not for food, and it's treated with chemicals, you're allowed to use it. He spray like windows. <coughs> right? Sh'ene ma'asim elu mafkim imenu, shem hamez. So let's say a person has a painting. In the painting he has wheat, real wheat, stock, real. 
Can you keep that uh, picture in the house during Pesach or no? Yes. 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 Since it's covered with paint and it's not designated for food, it's on the picture, two actions was done. Kasher, you can keep it for Pesach also. Wow. What if it's not painted, it's just uh, part of the painting? So you got to do two actions. Right. One is that you designate it not for food. So you need two conditions. Right? And second condition is that you cover it with a certain material. Paint, lac, Windex, whatever it is. Something that you're not meant for food already. Right. Right. Sometimes people do that. Right. And what if you keep those stalks of wheat in the house by itself? You didn't paint it. It's designated for decoration. So one condition, you fulfill. Second condition that it's supposed to be covered with a certain paint with a certain spray, this you didn't fulfill. It stays as is. Says Alakha Asur le Kaimo be Pesach. You cannot keep it in your house. You can sell it. Why? Maybe it got wet throughout the oh. year. And Hasba Shalom, it's Hamas right now in your house. Huh? Yosef, what's your friend's name? Daniel. Daniel? Daniel, what's your last name? Malako. Malako. Welcome to us, young man. You live around us? Or you live next to him? You're bringing Hasidim here, I see, huh? More and more Hasidim. כמה <laughs> You have the wheat, right? Yaakov, the wheat is only covered from here. From here, it's not covered because it's on the picture. Right. So from this side, if you if you take it out and you'll scoop out the, the thing, maybe you'll eat that part from here. It's edible. Do we have to worry about that it's from this side edible? From the inner inner side? No. Not David John. No, you have to worry that it is edible from the inner side? Says the Shohan Aruch, the Mishnah Bura brings, says no, no, don't have to. What if it's if it's natural, meaning it's in the painting, it's framed with glass, it's and not accessible. It's not accessible. But it's Less. sprayed. It's treated with paint. Probably not. With uh, something. So it doesn't matter if it's covered, closed. If I take bread and I put frame, I can keep it. No, it's gonna turn green. have that. In a, they have like a noni samarkan. Something like that. Yeah. With a name, with a date, sometimes they put. Noni Samarkan. You take this and you hang it in your house. Okay? Yeah, yeah, the, it's yeah, hard, hard like a rock. Yeah, after yeah. after a while, we can. Probably no wheat inside. Uh, no, uh, if somebody <laughs> is upset, uh, you know. <laughs> the mod mod cash is it? No. They just make it. I don't know why they make it. It's, it's dry like a cracker, but it's big. But it's yeah, big. it's not mold, huh? It's, it doesn't get moved. They probably got it from the bed that we I think it's edible. I think it's edible thing. You can't bite into it. Uh, if you put it in water and stuff like that, it'll soften. Decorated. But they made it dry like this. I think maybe it put too much eggs. I don't know what they do in order to make it so hard. But I remember seeing it. It's very hard. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Kuda. Chestu. Chestu. Ah, that's why it's so hard. It go. It doesn't go bad, huh? Lifetime. <laughs> Even the Jew Kim doesn't want to eat it, you see? <laughs> Can you keep that, you said? Right? You can't keep that? Rabbi Ma'achal, Rabbi Ma'achal, Rabbi Ma'achal, Rabbi Ma'achal, Rabbi Ma'achal, Rabbi Oh, uh, right now coming up to the mixture. So, bottom line, if it is two conditions were not fulfilled, two conditions are. First condition, you have to designate not for food. Second condition, you have to spray on top of it something. Paint, laka, Windex, or any of these things. It's enough, even if it's all on the surface. This is if you're not selling your chametz. 
Otherwise, it falls under the... Right, if you sell, it, if you sell your hamet, then it's no problem. You can also put bread in the, in the frame and, uh, and and leave it like this. Because you're selling your hamet. You, you're allowed to leave it open. Huh? You be to leave it open. Well, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a No problem. It's not yours. No problem. It's not yours. No problem. It's not yours. No problem. It's so how come I can't do it and eat the chametz? I don't follow. I come what? You, you sell it and you eat it. What's the difference between you doing it this way to the animals? What do you mean you sell it? You're going to sell the chametz too, go and you eat it. No, the moment you're eating it, you took away the sale. Because you're selling, it's not mine. Here, I'm not eating it. I left, I don't touch it. Go The goy thing, I don't touch Imagine a goy comes right now, he puts a bag of zirno for your birds. Can you let it happen? See. Yeah. But you're deliberately doing it, though. Yeah, deliberately, before Pesach, I did it. There's no problem. During Pesach, I don't own this Hamid. But the Bashetah Shalcha, that's only whenever you want your Shetah to acquire it. But if you don't want to share it, it's all up to the Goy. Then it's no problem. So why yesterday you said if it's got it as got it kind of milk and milk you flip and it's not the flow? That's when you want. You want that chametz to be over there. You want that bread to be in your domain. Then it's a problem. So if you don't care, you don't, you're not worried. Yeah. Chatzevot shel adam konalo rak birtsono. If it's against your ratzon, against your will, you have to, don't worry about it. But a problem will be if you have kids, yeah, especially small kids, they might come to eat this thing. You never know. Then you have to make sure to remove it. All right, the bird did the same thing. You want it to be there. Where? In your house? No. But you want it to be in the No, you're benefiting, see, because you want to be there. No, but he's talking outdoors. He's not talking indoors. Outdoors in your property. And your property will be a pro- If you <laughs> intending to acquire it, pay attention. You could be in my chatzir. I don't intend to acquire it. If you intend to acquire it, it's yours. If you don't intend to acquire it, it's not yours. If you have a question, please ask me. 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 If you have a you sold the backyard to the goy? In his case, he sells the backyard also. Oh, you have to sell the property also? Right. In his case. That's a form of... No, you have to do it. You have to leave it in Just make sure you don't have the right to acquire so that you can buy this land. It's not your land, it's your land. You have to leave it in the house. Yeah, it's your land. Yeah? Not yours. I mean, what le chatchila? It's not le chatchila to sell to begin with to the goy. But that's only whenever it's hundred percent chametz. Here, ziorna, it's not hundred percent chametz. It's a fake chametz. Got it? Ziorna is the it's kernels of wheat. Selling to a goy is not le chatchila. Selling to a goy real chametz is not le chatchila. Wow. Cookies, bread, pasta is not le chatchila. But I'll tell you this. Sometimes, Emmanuel. Sometimes a person is buying a lot of pasta, cookies, right. all these things, no. for it to be problem of kemach yashan, after Pesach should not have any problem. Mm. So if you tell them, listen, if you bought all these chametz, you have to throw it out because you want to do lechatchila, not sell the real chametz to the goy. So then the guy is going to say, hello, you told me to buy this taka, now you tell throw it out. So what is it going to be? More lenient on kemach yashan problem. It's going to become, so it's okay, after Pesach everything is yashan anyway. Until Pesach, I'm going to do Avera. After Pesach, I'm going to do Tshuva. Leave my money alone. Right. <coughs> then this will be a problem. Pai Dona does not. If you are want to be Mahmir on selling to the Goy, you, know, you say, I don't want to sell it to the Goy. Right. You have to know, are you going to find these products afterwards? Kemach Yashan. 
If you will not find it afterwards, Kemach Hashan, or the guy is not going to continue keeping Kemach Hashan because you told him to throw everything out. Kemach so it's Hashan better to be lenient on the selling and sell it than to be lenient on Kemach Hadash, and then you're going to on Kemach Hashan, you're going to end up eating Kemach Hadash. Right. In Israel, everything is Kemach Hadash. I mean, Yashan. Kemach Hashan. Right. This matzo came from there, even though it's still says Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. they are right. Okay, so remember these two conditions. Aron of Amidim, two conditions. One is that you designated for sake of not food, like a picture, like a decoration, stuff like that, or like glue, and other chemicals that it's not meant for food anymore, and then you're allowed to keep this hamet in your house, no problem. Next point, Tere Gimel, Hamet Gamu, Shera Uy Lema Achal Adam. After Pesach, yeah. but let's say the guy right now bought a lot, he bought a lot of pasta, he bought a lot of things. After it comes the air of Pesach, I say, Melo, listen, this is uh, selling of the goods, old trick, throw everything out. He said, next time I'm not going to do that. I bought a lot of things, now you're telling me to throw it out? So next time I'm going to be lenient. Oh, you, it's okay. Let it go. And then he's going to be more lenient on Kemah Hadash. Kemah Hadash is the Doraita. Why? Because he wants to be Mahmir on the selling of Hamid, which is Aram the Rabbana. Hamid is a Pesach Doraita. Hamid is a Pesach, no, but he's in nullification. Nullification, Meyar Doraita is enough. Bitul, Bitul, Meyar Torah is enough. So it's only the Rabbanan. The selling of Hametz is only a trick on the Rabbanan. It's not a trick on the Oraita. Benefiting after Hametz. It's also the Rabbanan nowadays. Even if you say it's a trick, after Pesach, worst case, it's a issue the Rabbanan, issue one, I'm not sure about it. It's easier. Then Kemah Hadash. Very nice. How much time can you eat? It depends on the season. Like right now, for example, look, outside is almost, it's almost Pesach, it's uh, snowing outside. <laughs> so it depends on the, on the season in America. But uh, but usually they say Elul Rosh Hashanah. That's the break point. That's the new. Very good. In America, here. Yeah. Okay. Next, Hametz Gamu. Sheraui lemachal adam. Boy Yosef. They want to do two things. They are going to be in the El. 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 They are going to כתבו במשנה ברורה ככה משל לדעת מרן כל מה שמועיל שני מעשים דווקא בדבר שנסל מאכילת אדם וראוי להקל אבל אם ראוי למאכל אדם לא מעני אבל המשנה ברורה שם הסיגן מרן מראשון הרמב״ם שכתב דין זה לחוד משמע שמעני שני המעשים אפילו במאכל שראוי לאכילת אדם זאת תורת העולה חמץ גמור שראוי למאכל אדם לדעת מרן לא מעני שני מעשים להתירו בשהייה וחייב לבערו ולדעת משנה ברורה מעני because it's still ראוי למאכל אדם אם אכל חמץ זה לכל השיטות, יש בזה חיוב דאורייתא ולא פטרו, רק ממיעו. אוקיי? So when do we say those two conditions are good? It's hack, only one ever, פסול מאכילת אדם. Condition number one, it designated not for food. וכל, שמו חברותא יופתי צ'י. דבר בכור הזה. אה, דבר בכור. שיש לי פדיון and, uh, and the second one is that you put chemicals on it, right? He said, but what if that thing is Ra'ul Ma'achal Adam? Let, let's say I take bread. I want a little Samarkand bread. It's Ra'ul Ma'achal Adam. I put it in a picture. I put it on the wall. So one condition of designated not for food, I did. It's for decoration. Okay. Second condition I'm going to right now put a certain layer of a paint. I'm going to take paint, paint it. Or hairspray. The outside, it's not going to be Raul Achila. But the inside, it's, it's 100 bread, 100% bread.
Who, who would want to eat a straight... Time of need? This is the problem. This is what So you're saying we're not afraid he's going to scoop, scoop it out. Yeah. We're not afraid he's going to scoop it out. Maybe that's the shot that he said before, she sagi rak befania. What are you talking about? In the soft perik bet. That's the word from Aran, which means that you have to go from all sides. But the Mishnah Brura said that she sagi rak befania. So maybe that's the, באמת, according to Maran, באמת משמש שזה has to be from all directions. So if you're just going to put on top, on the Samarkand bread, you're just going to put a certain layer of paint or whatever, it's not enough because you can scoop out from the out from underneath. It's not true. This is a common mistake that people misunderstand the Pasuk. They're thinking that you cannot look on Hametz, and this is not true. You can look at Hametz all Pesach, seven days you can look at the bread, no problem. As long as it's not... Bemet, you, Allah has understood that. You cannot own the You cannot own the Hametz during Pesach. Can you go buy a store, you know where it's you know, it's you know, it's on the bakery and say, oh, it smells good? No. Uh, that's yeah, another story. I'm not saying no, but I'm saying that's another story. Uh, so to look at Hametz during Pesach, yeah. it's no problem. So Rebbe, do we go to the extreme that someone's going to go and scoop out the... the According to Maran, he says yes. According to Mishnah Bura, if the, the top was covered with right, the paint, the you don't worry about the inside already. So, if you want to be Mahmir, no, Maran, it's our right, posse, you have to do all directions. If you cannot do it all directions, put it on the closet of the Hamid. Sure. Now, listen to this. This is coming right now to Hamid's Gamush and Itapesh and Nifsar Machilat Kelim. What if it is Hamid that became spoiled? Yom Babuli have cooked pasta two weeks ago. You, if it's not fresh, don't eat it. The dog will eat it. Two day, a few days in the refrigerator, it became moldy. The dog will eat it. Now this thing, it says even if it's so bad, it got so bad that even the dog will not eat it. Nifsal ma'achilat kelet. Ima ipush kadem lezman isuro, mutar lekaimo ba Pesach. You're allowed to keep that thing. Even Pesach. So kevan she nifsal ma'achilat kelet. So if it's so bad before Pesach that even the dog will not eat it, even it was with a chlebola, pasta bola, no problem. Why would he even keep it though? Like for what? Well, let's say the guy wants to keep it, or he kept it. Did he make Avera? No, he's asking right now, Rabbi, I had it in my house. What should I do now? I have to do Chuvach for now? I have to get lashes with the belt? What should I do? So it says Allah, he didn't do any Avera. However, and here's your answer. Your next, the next line is your answer. What if a person wants to eat a shechem ben hamo? We want to eat it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nothing already. <laughs> yeah. huh? He eats it. Says Alacha, there is such a concept called ah shave. You took something that it is spoiled, not edible, and you want to eat it. Is it considered? So then you considered you made it food. Retro? Retroactively. <laughs> now comes, because of that, all the problems with the medications, with the vitamins, with all these supplements, because of this concept. The food that you have in the vitamin, in the, in the, I add all these things, supplement, it's, I put it in the table, plate, you're not going to eat it. But the fact that you are eating it now, what does it show? That it's an important thing for you now. So that's why many poskim hold when you buy medications for Pesach, it has to be kosher for Pesach. You say, Rabbi, the dog will not eat this. He doesn't have diabetic. He does not gonna. <laughs> he's not gonna. He's not gonna eat this medication. We're talking over the counter or what? Uh, whatever, whatever they are. Like Comes right now the pharmacies, Rabbi. How am I gonna do right now? Pharmacy during Pesach. You you told us that anything that it is. Not a ula achilata kelev. Dog will not eat it. It's no problem. So why medications I need to have kashut lepesach? Why I need all these booklets and all these headaches? Why do you need that? It's, it's not depends what which kind of medicine is. So says the reason because of ah shave you made it. Hashuv again. Oh. Why do you have to Okay, okay, okay. 
First, I have to make balagan. You don't know the rule? <laughs> First, you all like shock. You see, even you did hayat amiti. Then, wow, Rabbi, where is galut right now? Galut, you is coming. Always remember, you want to make something interesting, Shabbat table, you want to say something interesting, say something, wow, you got even your babulia attention that she's washing the dishes right now. Something, wow. And then, you know, neutralize the bomb. That's a, that's a gift, Rabbi. That's the power of a good speaker. That he makes a whole balagan and a what? And then he solves the balagan. Ah, everybody happy. Happy ending. Okay? Continue. Zot Torah Ta'ola, Ham et Gamu, Hoshem Salam Achilat Kele, Mutar Lashulah Bepesach, Vechel Mutar Bana Bepesach, Aba Lochlo, Asur Midera Bana Nita, Am Achshave. Nikan Ilmad Kamadinim, Truf Ot Shesh Baim Hashash, Hametz, אם התרופה מהרה ונפסלה מכילה את כלב קודם הפסח, מותר לחולה שאין בו סכנה להשתמש בפסח. מהטעם כיוון שכל האיסור רק מדרבנן, לחולה שאין בו סכנה, מותר לו איסור דרבנן. Here is neutral bomb number one. When, who said that something that it spoiled, that you decided to eat, you made it back to a food status? Who said that? The Torah or Chachamim? Chachamim. Says the Rosh. If it's only Chachamim, for sake of sick person, even though he's not critical sick, Allah. But has to be Chole, Shein Bo Sakana. Yeah. But he has to be at least Chole. It means to say supplements, vitamins will be a problem. If it doesn't have Kasher Le Pesach. Bedroom ready. Now a question to you is this. What if in the mixture there is wheat, but the main active ingredient, it's not wheat. The wheat is only there to make achdut, shalom al Israel. To make shalom between the two, the binder. In this case, when he eats, what is his kavanah? He has a diabetic problem, no alim. Or he has other problems. He eating this candy at the uh, uh, medication for sake of the wheat or for the sake of the active ingredient? Active ingredient. Oh. In such a case, you didn't give importance to the wheat. You didn't give importance to the to the bonding, binding material. You, substance. Your intentions to imp, to improve the, the the situation was the active ingredient. So Amirib is the active ingredient, not made out of chametz. You're allowed to have that, even though you read in the notes, it says over there, wheat starch. What's it? The wheat starch the pesach. What's the answer? If the wheat starch is not active ingredient and it's not because it's already so destroyed. No problem, you can have it. <coughs> How's it destroyed? Because it's with all these chemicals, it's treated. So, because it's, if I give it to you on your plate, you're not going to eat it. Not you, not the dog. What do you mean? If it is, it is. Wheat kernel that became cracked, water got inside. The reason why it cracked is because it became hamid. It, if it's not cracked and it was cooked, then safek hamid, because we don't know what's happened inside. So now, if somebody is asking Rabbi, I want to buy medications, I want to buy supplements, I want to buy whatever, without kasher vitamin, without kasher le pesach, can I buy that or no? Huh? Mm-hmm, yes. It depends. What is the active ingredient in there? If the active ingredient in there it's made out of hametz, then it's a problem. But if there is hametz there, but it's not active ingredient, it's just there to bind things together. You're allowed to buy the Sergey even without kosher le pesa. Oh, these, these are supplements also? You're right. When do we say the guy is to be critical at the bedridden sick? 
whenever he wants to have the active ingredient made out of Hamid. Gummy bears. Huh? They have gummy bears vitamins. No, it's off. No. No, it's off. No, it's off. It's edible thing. It's not, it's not the damaged. We're talking about pills that they are damaged. But probably she votes to be a Simon Srazo Haladinic study. Allow them for you or no? Right, doesn't taste good, but it has ingredient of hamet in there. Right. I have it taste good. What if it tastes good? So it gets 100% of it's a clip. It's 100% wheat. It's, it's not, it's not allowed. Uh, no, I actually it. Even This is not pasul achila. The whole question is whenever it's not edible, it's not tasty. But these gummy bears or whatever you're asking these things, it's a problem. Yeah. Anything has taste, flavor, you need to have kashul. Because you don't know what's the reason he has the flavor. What's the ingredient they made to make it the flavor. Sometimes they put cherry flavor, grape flavor. Right. That's a problem? Problem. Of course. Oh, wow. that I asked? Yeah. They don't sell rubatasin. He, his intention is for the active ingredient. He's not intending for the hamets. He's not intending for the So he says, this concept of I didn't care about the binding, I care about the active ingredient. Be lenient, he says about it, only whenever there is a real need, such mm-hmm. as a person that is a bad reader. So for even for the antibiotics, also, no? anti- uh, for even for the uh, 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 wheat uh, binding material, don't be lenient, he says, if it is uh, not bad reading situation. Mm-hmm. So in antibiotics, what do you do? Got that? Mm-hmm. Clear? Very good question. Antibiotics? Right, they put flavors inside for kids to drink it. To yeah. drink it? Right. Yeah. No, like sure. They have right. an infection on Pesach. They need antibiotics. They put flavors in like that. Amoxicillin. This has to be because you're on Pesach. No way around it. Don't put flavor. Yeah, if you can put no flavor, yeah. <laughs> if you put in flavor, it has to be kasher on Pesach. Simple abutai solution. You yeah. tell the pharmacist, that the child has allergy for five ingredients: wheat, barley, spelt, rye, and oats. He has allergy right now during Pesach. He has allergy, <laughs> yeah. spiritual allergy. And they they will be afraid. The pharmacies are very afraid when people have allergies. This is a it's a death death and life situation for them. So they're not gonna mess up with this. They make sure that he's not gonna have any wheat, any barley. You're gonna tell them. And like this, you can ask about any ingredient question that you have. Comes Pesach, a lot of people have a lot of questions about, Rabbi, I don't know. Sometimes certain milk for your children, certain uh, materna, et, uh, formula, all these things. I don't know if it's kasher or Pesach. You, you call the company, my child has allergies for fi- one of the five grains. As soon as they hear allergies, right away all the... Customer down. service helps you. Everybody are going to be on your side because this lawsuit that they're going to get against. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> is going to be. Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi no problem. If he did before Pesach, no problem. Okay. Mishchat Na'alai. What if you have Shushan? Not Shushan, yeah? Made out of wheat. Why is it allowed? Because it's not allowed. Very good. It's a clay. Zohar. Zohar. Okay, let's do Zohar. Okay, we're going to talk about... Huh? Yeah, Mahal Klavim is the next one. but uh, It's either either this or Zohar. You make up. Alakot? Adikalon, no problem. 
Marijuana is always a problem. <laughs> you cannot run away from reality. Don't don't run away from reality, please. He's gonna spread with Windex. Spread with Windex. Okay, let's go next. Mishchat Shinai, toothpaste, toothpaste. No need kosher for Pesach. If it does not have good taste. Flavor. But if it has good taste, you know, flavor, it's not a good taste for food. It's to refresh your mouth. Right. But if it is like the kids want. This, this mint kosher for Pesach. I don't understand what's the difference between the flavor and the mint. The mint is not food. If I put you this on the head, you're not going to be able to eat it. It's peppermint. But this, the children like to swallow it. Mm, because oh, it's because tasty for them. <laughs> for them, it's bubblegum. The toothpaste has to be kosher? Toothpaste has to, if it has flavor. If it doesn't have flavor. If it doesn't have flavor, no problem. It doesn't have to be kosher at all. Right, at all. Not like these people that they said that you, one time, though, I remember, everybody was going crazy. Crest is not kosher to use. Why? Because it's made out of pig. It says glycerin over there in the ingredients. So why do you make glycerin? This is glycerin. 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 They put inside there, in the production line, they put inside there glycerin of pig. And the rabbi said it's mutar. Even though it says pig inside there. Why? Because it's not edible. We, and you're also not meant to eat it. So that's why you don't have a problem with uh, Colgate? Colgate? Colgate. Col- Colgate and Crest and all these things. Tasty. This How is it different than gum, really? No, if he has tasty, it's a problem. If it's tasty, problem. I'm talking about the one that doesn't have tasty. Oh, yeah. the, the adult one. No, but flavor, just, flavor, not the children. Flavor, but the mint tastes good. good children. Children. If he has flavor, he needs to have kashrut. So, Rebbe, gum has flavor of mint. Not kosher. You're not allowed to eat it. Gums? Gum, yeah. You're chewing it, not eating it. Yeah, yeah. But you're swallowing the sugar, you're swallowing all the, the things that are in it. Sure. That is a bracha on this. Shako and Yamidvaro. If you just put something in your mouth, throw it out, you don't say bracha. Why on the gum you say bracha? Because so, of the sugar that you swallow so, while you are. Yeah, well, we don't make a bracha brushing our teeth. Right. Because it's not meant to swallow. Okay? Now, let's go quickly to the, to the next point. Sfaton, who's Sfaton? No, 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 Rabbi Amir said, We have to listen to the rabbi. What is Faton in English? I said, Lipstick. Lipstick does not have to be kosher for Pesach. What can I do? Hide the truth. <laughs> because it doesn't have flavor. Again, what's the reason? Because it's a it's a it does it's not have flavor. <laughs> Anything that is not meant for food, and it's a mixture that the dog will not eat, and it doesn't have a flavor, no problem for Pesach. So that doesn't have That's a, don't have to drive your wife nuts mm. and buy, buy a new lipstick. It's kashir. How about the ones that... Uh... So when chopsticks. You leave chopsticks. Chopsticks. chopsticks again. If he has ta'am <coughs> if it's unflavored, don't need pesach. Pesach. But a dog will eat rabbit. Now here is your question about rabbit. that you asked me about the fish. Lipstick. Whenever you put it on, there might be some leftover bread from before. Whenever you ate, there might be so it could have went in the lipstick. That's also not a big deal because it's not edible already. It's like I put Windex on it. If I take a piece of bread, I put Windex. Do I have to worry about this anymore? So this. Flavor of the lipstick is going to go in the bread. It makes it edible. See? So you don't have to really worry about wiping it and all this. But you know, to feel good that you feel comfortable, wipe it. Wipe but what? halakha, not obligating. Wipe what? I'm sorry. The lipstick, uh, the head. If it's ah, used before, wipe it off a little bit. That's it. To, to feel good. But really, it doesn't have to because it's damaged already. Okay? Even though the bell ring, let's just finish this off. Fish. What's fish? Fish no, was at the end. Okay, let's take the perik tetrega. Ta'arovet hametz. Shena reuya le'achilat adam. Now there is a 
This is the last level of a mixture. If something that is not bread by itself, it's not chametz by itself. Rather, it's a mixture that has in their chametz. And it's so bad that a person cannot eat it. Says Alaha, Mutar le Kaima ba Pesach. Mikan il mat le maachal dagim. O le kol maachal ba le haim. Chesh ba ochel shelaim ta arobet chamet shelogu yaladam. Im enze chamets be en vegam nifsal maachilat adam. Mutar lo le achilam ba Pesach. A person has a mixture. Kakr et a ribne et a. Of course. Fish food. Fish food. It doesn't have, even if it has wheat in there, written on a package, wheat. Can you feed this to your fish on Pesach? Yes. Yes. Why? Because it's a mi- because it's a mixture of chametz, and it's not edible for a person. Rabbi, but it's edible for the food, for the animal. Right. When do we say it has to be not fit for the animal? Whenever it's by itself. I have a piece of bread. I have a piece of pasta. I have a piece of pizza. I want to make this thing not chametz. How do I make it? Make it not ra'ul achilat akelev. Even an animal cannot eat it. How do we know? But whenever it's a mixture of chametz, <laughs> it's not by itself. Here, I don't need it to be so bad that even an animal cannot eat it. It's enough to have even or just person cannot eat it. The animal could eat it. It doesn't qualify as chametz. So that's why dog's food. You should know, in America, God bless America, they made a rule, American law. Dog's food have to be fit for human beings' cons- consumption. You, can eat together. you know why? Because one devil at one time broke into somebody's house. He got locked up in the garage, and there was no food over there besides the dog's food. He ate the dog's food. After three days, the Barabbat opened this. Hey, see, the, the thief is uh, fainted over there. He calls at Salah, he calls whatever. After the whole story finishes, he sue the dog's company. Dog's food company. No, the dog's food, ca- food had poison for people. And it didn't state it on the package as poisonous for people. He sued them. He won won the, won the case. Comes American government. And they said, from now on, the law in America, United States of America, to make all dog's food fit to people. Means to say, that if you will sometimes miss on the meatballs and your, your cleaning lady wants to eat, you put that dog's food over there in the pasta, she will not know, she'll eat it by hazoo. She'll say, ah, where did you buy this meatball? 100% edible. So since it's 100% edible, it has to be kosher le pesach. Uh, why the fish food, you said, Rabbi, don't have to be kosher le pesach. It says flakes, it says wheat. Why this it's doesn't have to be kosher pesach? Because, because it's not ra'uy, it cannot be eaten by human beings. It's very bad. The smell of it and the taste of it is terrible. So since it's so bad taste, and it's a mixture, it's no problem to feed the animal food. Dog food problem? Dog's food, since it's edible for people, it's 100% edible for people. I'm telling you 100%. You can put it as a meatball in a pasta, nobody will know it's a, the, the dog food. Since it's 100% Raoul Achila, you need to have it. Kasher le Pesa. Now, don't look for OUP on the packages. You're not going to find it. There is a dessert at the. OUP? Yeah. Okay. Okay. OUP? For dog's food? For Pesa. Yeah. Okay. 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 Without violating the laws of Hamid. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen. Rabbi Hanani, Amen. Don't forget to answer Kaddish as loud as possible.